Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I want to apologize to everyone for the video that I posted on the 16th of April. Without knowledge, I posted without knowledge of what it actually meant and knowing who it's going to hurt or upset. I posted a video of me dancing on his, on his monument and I did not mean to be. I, the video that I posted, I didn't intend it to be offensive. Neither did I even mean it to offend anyone or to be disrespectful for those people that died. And because I did not know exactly what it meant and I never thought it would be this big. I'm very, very, very sorry to everyone. I didn't know. And if I knew, I wasn't ever going to post it. I hope I'm understood and forgiven. Russian President Vladimir Putin has always described the invasion of Ukraine as a special military operation to denazify the country. But this label of neo-Nazism now seems to be being applied to anyone who insults Moscow. Over the weekend, regional authorities announced that a foreign student had been arrested for, quote, rehabilitating Nazism. She's been identified as 21-year-old Rebecca Zeba from Zambia, that's according to local media. And her offence? Well, over the weekend, she was filmed twerking in front of a Russian war memorial. The video was posted on Instagram along with a joking caption. Now, the memorial in question is an eternal flame, which in Russia commemorates soldiers who fought against Nazi Germany during the Second World War. Investigators say that the student's actions were obscene and insulting, and she now faces a fine or a potential prison sentence of up to three years. Now, the Russian Investigative Committee has also released a video of Rebecca Zeba seemingly confessing to her actions and apologizing. It's not clear under what conditions this was filmed, or indeed if the student had access to legal representation. Here at Euronews, we've contacted the Zambian embassy in Russia. This story, Helena, has generated a lot of shock and outrage online. Of course, Rebecca Zeba, if you look at her Instagram page, she doesn't appear to have expressed support for Russia, Ukraine or Nazism, but she now appears to have been a victim of Moscow's wider crackdown on opponents. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.